Charges ready? Phone is ready? Mm -hmm. Charges ready? Yes. My partner and I negate the resolution. Resolved. State mandated administration of child vaccinations is justified. We would first like to define the word justified. It means shown to be just, right, or reasonable according to the Merriam Webster Dictionary. All the negation has to do is show that it is not justified for the state government to force people to have vaccinations by using a net benefit scale. That is, if the harms of state mandated administration of child vaccinations outweigh the benefits, then the program is clearly not justified. Contention one, individual parents have the right to decide whether or not their children should be vaccinated, supported by the First Amendment. Since we live in a society that completely supports vaccine mandates, it is crucial to recognize that it is not the government's place to enforce what people do to protect their own bodies. Having a needle pierced through one's skin to inject foreign substances is a severe violation of the body that should only take place under one's consent. Joseph Mercola stated, parents have every legal right to protect children from the known health risks of vaccinations. Nobody has the right or power in this country to immunize children against will and conviction. Sue A. Belvins adds, the role of our government is to protect individual rights, not to run individual lives. The United States should set the world standard for liberty by giving parents the freedom to decide whether or not to vaccinate. If parents are not even allowed to reject questionable vaccines for preventable diseases, then what will be forced upon their children in the future? Parents should be the one making important health care decisions for their children. State mandates remove the individual from the decision-making process and consequently violates their rights. A person should be able to opt out of vaccines, as shown in my second contention, that vaccines often do not work, are not 100% safe, and have dangerous side effects. To fully understand why vaccines can be harmful, it is imperative to understand how a vaccine functions. The theory of vaccination states that by giving a person a mild form of the disease, specific antibodies are produced that will protect the organism when the real disease it, it infects the body. This first part of the vaccine theory has been proven to be false. Many people are still getting the diseases even after they have been vaccinated. Vaccines cause more harm than mere ineffectiveness, though. All parts of the vaccine are not indigenous to the body and change genetics of the cells. This can lead to anaphylactic shock. Inject injections of foreign substances like viruses, toxins, and foreign proteins directly into the bloodstream by vaccinations has been associated with diseases and disorders to the blood, brain, nervous system, and skin because foreign substances injected into the body have not been filtered by the liver but instead go directly into the bloodstream. Assumptions stating that vaccines are beneficial is untrue. Evidence suggests that immunizations actually destroy the immune system instead of strengthening it. In addition, vaccines are causing pathogens to be mutating faster than ever, creating more and more new strands of diseases complicating the problem. If immunizations are so dangerous, why are they so heavily supported by the government? Our third contention directly answers this question. Statement and vaccines are often supported because they become, be, can become extremely profitable for manufacturers who have ties in, governments, in the government. In an article written by Cheryl Addison titled, How Independent Are Vaccine Defenders? She writes, some of the most trusted voices in the defense of the vaccine safety, the American Academy of Pediatrics, Every Child But You, and Dr. Paul Offit have strong financial ties to the industry whose products they promote and defend. The vaccine industry gives millions to the Academy of Pediatrics for conferences, grants, medical education classes, and even help build their headquarters. Every Child by Two, a group that promotes early immunization for all children, admits the group takes money from the vaccine industry too, but wouldn't tell how much. Paul Offit has gone so far as to say babies can tolerate 10,000 vaccines at once. Offit is a is a vaccine industry insider. There is nothing illegal about the financial relationships. However, they pose conflicts of interest. Money from the pharmaceutical industry can shape the practices of those who hold themselves out to be independent. Critics worry that industry ties could impact the advice given to the public about those vaccines. Clearly, the government mandating that people get vaccines for their own economic benefits is not just. Vaccines are not only faulty but potentially dangerous, yet they are still being forced onto people because of the profit for the government manufacturers. For all these reasons, we urge you to vote negative.